Well, this is new. Gotta go to YouTube. How? That's a bit weird. How do I go to YouTube on this? <laughs> I'll be back really soon. There you go. There you go. That's how you do it. And let's share it. Copy. Does it sound <laughs> good? It sounds pretty okay. fine. Yo, good morning, everyone. Let me share this real quick. Boom. Boom. And I'm going to do one more mega share on my uh, second channel, which, which uh, has um, has more uh, more of a viewership for some reason. Let me just really quickly share this around. Um, video search URL. This one. Yeah, select. Boom. Cool. Let's do it. And shared. Good. Now. Now, let me get back to the chat. How are you? Oh, me, oh my, how are you? Hello, man, Ken. This is very different. This is the first time streaming ever. First time streaming ever. We're going to go on to the Titanic and talk some history. Why don't we? I'm not quite sure how to stream, so in case I make any mistakes, please don't blame me too much. Uh, sure, why not? Uh, let's just do this. Okay. There we go, fixed it. You ask, too late. Hey mans, hey falsetto guy, Milo. Welcome to Gino Samuel 3. Hopefully everything sounds all right. Hopefully Choco is doing better. Thank you, Mateus. Yes, she is doing quite a bit better. We are gonna step aboard the Titanic pretty quickly. <clears throat> this is a topic that I'm quite interested in, though I'm not quite well versed in it as much as um, something like Antarctica. For example, any plans for music stream? Not yet. Not yet, but it's possible. I mean, I didn't plan for a, <laughs> for a history stream either, but these things happen sometimes. Okay. So we're gonna go on the Titanic right here. Uh, in case you don't know, ha Hazy, um, this is a little project. You can see it down in the description below. I have it linked. It's a project called um, Titanic Honor and Glory. And it's something kind of a game experience sort of thing that has been in the works for a very long time. The truth of Tango was found right next to the Amelia Earhart's plane. I'm not quite sure about that, man. Can maybe you got your history wrong there. <laughs> Though I'm not the biggest Titanic buff, so I can't really tell you. But I'd love to be a, t a Titanic buff. Um, I do have some ideas for for some for some uh, Titanic-inspired uh, doc series. What is the engine the game made with? Uh, it's uh, Unreal Engine 4 at the moment, as, as far as far as I know. Yes, I am making a documentary on something. So anyway, let's just. Skip the chatter. Uh, if the music's too high, you're gonna... Please tell me. I'm gonna turn it down just a tad, and then we're gonna step on the Titanic. So this is actually... Uh, okay, first let's let's switch over the scene to over here. And then boom. Now this should be alright. <clears throat> Hopefully everything... Can, can't be louder than the blue mics than the blues mic. What the hell? Anyway, so this is the demo 401 of of Titanic Honor and Glory. It's uh, it's uh, it's a game experience about the Titanic, and they're and they're trying to do their dangdest to recreate the Titanic, 100% accurately, 100% explorable as well, which is a huge achievement if it is in fact possible. Um, they've been at this. For like, um, for 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 a very long time since 2014, actually, um, they they had a slight snag with their team like a, a couple of years ago, maybe. Um, they used to they used to be with to, together with this guy called Tom Linsky, who was acting as their is their like uh, 
their their promotion manager and their basically the face of this uh, game development company, uh, Vintage Digital Revival LLC is the name of the company here. And uh, Tom Linsky himself, he was he was quite of a Titanic buff and a ship buff. He knows his history very well, and I think he's a programmer, like a web developer or something in his in his real life. <laughs> But uh, I'm I'm not sure if he's uh, that capable of with uh, game making. Uh, so so he's basically the guy trying to uh, trying to promote the project and uh, endorse it and and try to find sponsors and stuff like that and, uh, and try to acquire funding. Uh, but some sometime around uh, a couple of years ago, the team started to tear apart slightly. Uh, it seemed that Tomlinski was not interested in Titanic in general anymore. He was not collecting funding anymore. He he said he was he was talking to uh, investors, but he wasn't. Stuff like that. I'm not sure how how true it was, but it was a huge um, controversy in the Titanic HG community, especially on Reddit. And um, there was some some rude chats being leaked and stuff like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, Tomlinski himself he had these huge ideas, like they were. They were they were like trying to basically you know first first step step number one recreate the Titanic okay former THG creative director Thomas Linsky that's that was him so he's he's no longer part of this team um, so they were like trying to make this uh, make this look realistic and try and trying to get all the details right and Tom Linsky had these crazy ideas about programming three thousand NPCs. <laughs> Like, like modeled after the real citizens that that came aboard the the Titanic on her on her maiden voyage, and like program and then program them to be uh, in the exact places where they would have been at at the exact same time at at any time during the maiden voyage, and uh, crazy shit like that, and uh, he he basically it was basically um, over over promising. And it really puts pressure on the team, and uh, there was a huge kerfuffle. Tom left the team, and he's doing fine for himself, honestly. He has a YouTube channel called Part Time Explorer, and he does really good stuff, honestly. He his channel kind of blew up recently, like over the past half a year, like from twenty thousand to like a hundred forty thousand. Now it's really doing well. Uh, oh my God, this is my favorite topic in history. You're amazing for covering this, Gino. Thank you so much, Chris Chance Fanta Bottle Collection. Thank you very much. Uh, I don't, I don't have my keyboard plugged in, so I, so I can't give you a fanfare. But anyway, <laughs> uh, let's see, what's this? What's this happening? Um, I've heard of this, and I'm not mistaken. I think it was a Mafia One mod at first. It was. Tomiski sounds so so familiar, dude. Um, <laughs> so anyway, oh hey Joey, how are you? I'm I'm playing a game. Game anyway. Um, so yeah, so now. The, the, the team is more or less back on track and they're more honest with what they're doing now. They're not overselling and underproviding. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is a free demo, by the way. You can check out the link in the description if you if you want to check it out uh, for yourself. Yes, I'm in Japan still, Joey, for the moment at least. Uh, so this demo 401 is not, it's not what's all available to the team. Like, the team has access to a lot more stuff than this, but uh, I, I'm pretty sure that's in the alpha, which is I, I believe released, and you can uh, you can you can get it on their Patreon, and and then you'll get um, routine updates as the project goes along. But apparently they've completed around 50% of the project, and they're doing very well on Patreon. There's a it's a big team involved. There's like three main players or so, and then there's lots of volunteers as well. And hopefully they're they're getting a cut of the of the Patreon. But uh, anyway, so let's cut the chit chat, and let's just get on board. Uh, I'm gonna start with a third class during the daytime. I've tried this before. I did a secret stream like yesterday or, or or the day before it was a it was a private stream just to check if i can actually run obs and this game and I, it seems like i can actually so which which means that this game runs better than acid pro um <laughs> this is disgusting anyway so we're gonna try to explore as much as we oh there we go just let me, let me check if uh, V-Sync is on. It is on. And uh, 
Yes, this is uh, this is Unity. This is um, this is like a yokai building. Oh, I wish. I'm actually really interested um, because there are future plans for this are actually to um. The frame rate is a bit buggy though. Fuck. Oh, this it's it's not terrible. I just better not not run too much. Um, as you can see, it's uh, it takes a while for things to load in. I mean, of course, this is not the most optimum build. Uh, they're gonna improve on it later. This is a free demo, by the way, so changes are gonna happen. Um, I believe once once everything is finished, you're gonna be able to explore every single nook and cranny of this thing. And uh, yeah, so this is the third class compartment, and you see the uh, stair st staircase going up and down. We're gonna look at that a bit later. Look at that a bit later, because uh, I want to explore some some more places on this uh, third class area here. There's some fun stuff, I believe. Um, Oscar Pistorius is... What the hell are you talking about? Are you... I mean... Okay. What the hell? It's funny comparing the movie to this. Everything was so large and open in the movie. Yeah, I mean... I can't... It's been a very long time since I've seen the movie, so I can't really say for sure how well does it compare. I believe if you do shift, you run. That's right. If you do control, you crouch. That's right. Shop to bed, play more games. By the way, it would be completely gold seeing you try to play video. Thank you so much. Uh, this is a... For the moment, this is pretty much a walking simulator, and um, the actual alpha and, and, and the complete game, I believe, is is gonna be, um, it's gonna have like a historic annotations and stuff like that. Everything's gonna be a lot more interactable than this. So this is gonna look kind of like a conference room here. I believe there's nameplates above the doors, but there's nothing written here yet, at least. So yeah, texturing looks pretty damn sweet. Some places look a bit funky. Um, that looks... Is that is that Star Nicholas II? Or is that the the King of England? I, I believe that's, that's more likely. So there's, here's a little blueprint of the SS Titanic. SS Titanic? Is that true? I guess it is an SS. It, SS means, of course, steamship. So maybe that's accurate. And of course, you can scroll and zoom in. I believe this is an earlier White Star Liner. <clears throat> Is the ship going to break in the game? The plan is to have a fully functional sinking simulation as well when the game is completed proper. Uh, for a free demo, this looks amazing. Um, Ceramic, thank you so much for your donation. Please check out the team and support them if you're interested in this because I'm actually going to... I really feel like I'm going to get the alpha because this looks really damn sweet and I'm really interested in stuff like... Um, like a virtual museums for for example because for the moment it's largely going to be a virtual mu museum and then a sinking simulation um how's the combat <laughs> fuck you <laughs> you're gonna combat billy zane in this uh in this one. Oh, this is the so as you can see in the third class uh area here stairs to f deck i believe they're 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 closed here uh, yeah, the, uh, actually, the team, while Tom Linsky was still a part of it, they actually released uh, a smaller version of this kind of of this kind of game. It was called Britannic Patroness of the Mediterranean, which is, an, in case you don't know, Titanic was built by the White Star Line, and every, most ship companies, I believe, have these like. Um, um, Olympic class, that's right. So so these uh, ships have classes. Uh, and these classes are like, uh, basically they, they built the same kind of ship several times, but just slightly different. So for example, this was the Olympic class. So the first ship of the Olympic class was the Olympic. Then the second one was the Titanic and the third was the Britannic. And the Britannic, um, by the time it was built, it was actually just used as a hospital ship during the First World War and it never got any actual uh, paid passenger service so this is it could either be the olympic or the or the titanic and the britannic i don't think was finished by this point um so yeah they are they're very 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 similar and of course i'm pretty sure this is the third class dining room and as you can see uh third class yeah but it's it looks quite damn nice as you can see we have these uh, lovely lovely um polygonal ap apples here I mean, if you if you don't zoom in, it looks fine, and that's and that's perfectly fine. What's on the menu actually? I'm pretty sure the uh, April fourteenth, nineteen twelve. 
Third class breakfast, oatmeal, porridge and milk, smoked herrings, jacket, potatoes, ham and eggs, fresh bread and butter, marmalades, tea, Swedish bread and coffee. Dinner, <laughs> we got rice soup. The hell? Okay, we got rice soup, uh, cabin biscuits, fr roast beef, brown gravy, sweet corn, boiled potatoes, plum pudding, sweet sauce, fruit, tea, cold, we have cold cold meat tea, we got cheese tea, we got pickles, never mind, uh, fresh bread and butter, stewed fish and rice. Damn, this, this, this is nice. Wait, is it cold meat? Oh, cold meat, like uh, fruschetta or something. Uh, gruel, gruel. <laughs> Cabin biscuits and tea. Any any complaint respecting the food supplied, want of attention, or incivility should be at once reported to the to the parser or chief steward. For purposes of identification, each steward wears a numbered badge on the arm. This this seems pretty damn damn sweet. Uh, it's basically lots of uh, just bowls of apples everywhere. For the for the moment, um, as you're as you're walking through, you can kind of see that. There's no hit detection on the chairs, and there is hit detection on the tables. However, if you crouch, you can walk through the tables as well and eat those apples and just take a bite out of it right there. So this might be a bug. I, I'm pretty sure it's because the actual uh, player character is probably even shorter than the table. So when it crouches, it just goes under the table. Maybe that's what's happening. So you got these nice, I'm pretty sure pretty accurate reproductions of the paintings here. My Starline third class accommodation, Olympic and Titanic, the largest steamers in the world. When the Olympic was built, it was the largest ship in the world. And then when the Titanic was built, it was slightly bigger than the Olympic. However, when the Britannic was built, it was not the biggest in the world because by that point, um, the Cunard line, which is the, the rivaling uh, shipping line in the North America, I'm not sure if it's Canadian or American or is it a or is it con conglomerate? Um, they built the Lusitania, which I believe was was bigger. So, th so the White Star Line, um, they had some some problem some some problems obviously um, with ships. Of course, the Titanic is their is their biggest casualty and like the the most famous shipwreck in the world, basically. And uh, apart from that, they also had the. SS Atlantic, I believe, in in uh, 1873, which which was wrecked off the coast of Nova Scotia, Halifax, and that lost about 500 people. No women survived, and only two children, uh, just just because of of the way the uh, people were were seated. Um, back then, in the 1850s, 60s, 70s, in the in the sh in the shipping liners, um, it seems like the people were not as civilized as they were later on. So. Basically, you had uh, the single men at the front of the ship. You got you got families in the middle of the ship, and then unwed mothers and uh, mothers with children in the back of the ship. So just to uh, separate them. Um, but as it happened, the worst damage occurred in the back of the ship, and so that's why no women survived, and, and only two children. Okay, this is actually blocked off. I can't pass through this, but it seems like it's a changing room, maybe? It's gonna be... Okay, more, more staircases. We're gonna get to the staircases later, but I'm pretty sure there's a... Okay, we got a second-class stewards one, so I believe these are the bunks for the stewards to sleep in. In the third class. This is a E deck, I, I believe. Of course, on the ship you have um, different, uh, different decks. E deck is on towards towards the bottom. You, you can get to F deck as well, and the A deck is of, of course on top. And this is I'm gonna I'm gonna get to this now. So this is actually an entrance into the the boiler rooms. You can you can go up the ladder here just a bit, I believe. Uh, this is maybe connected to the smokestack up top. Have you heard the conspiracy that where the Titanic and I think the Olympic was switched? Uh, yes, I've heard that conspiracy as well. I need to look into it a bit more. Um, I'm not one to co completely dismiss conspiracy theories, so I'm just interested in, uh, you know, exploring why. Why would that happen? So I'm I'm gonna explore the Olympic and Titanic switch a bit later, cause, cause the conspiracy is is that. 
um, at one point the the Olymp the Olympic I believe was damaged in in a, in a little collision and uh, then it was switched with a Titanic and the reason that the Titanic sank uh, is because it was damaged because of the because of the Olympics damage because it's actually the Olympic they just repainted it oh my god the uh, the frame rate here is falling drastically and it's because of the burning coal in case you don't know this is a uh, this is coal it's burning really hot how many times have I actually laughed through these groups nice yeah the smoke effects and the uh, the uh, oh my god just yeah uh, the boiler rooms are huge these boilers are really really big uh, of course since it's a steamship it needs it needs uh, burning coal to generate the heat which which uh, makes the the ship go forward basically it's a it's a, it's a steamship actually fun fact of course everyone knows basically what the what the Titanic looks like because it's such a famous ship um, it has four funnels for the for the steam to for the for the smoke to escape from but actually only three of the funnels were were functional the fourth funnel at the at the at the aft end or the back uh, is actually not functional it's purely cosmetic because I believe people thought that four funnels meant it looked more more powerful and more reliable so they actually had four funnels, even though they only used three. This is a... No, no, no. I think I'm pretty sure I missed a bit. Are you sure I went down here? Pretty sure there was more stuff to find here, no? Okay, maybe. I, th I think I missed a bit. Um, actually, you can go down... I no, it, sh it should be an F deck. F deck, I believe, had some more fancy stuff going on, but this one is closed off. There's more cabins there. There's lots of uh, closed off spaces here. We're gonna go up top pretty soon. And then the store the deck equipment in the fake funnel, they did? Holy shit. Also, I'm... This is, these are like air vents and from this you can hear like slapping or something. Or are they playing basketball or something? Or I'm not quite sure what what is happening here but you can only hear the sound effect in this one area and, it, and if you move away it just disappears oh actually I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to the to the staircase because I believe I need to go down to F deck to get into the the pool did you know that the Titanic had a pool oh no okay, this, 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 this is the bathroom area which is a bit closed off I can't I can't enter that okay let's go down to F deck F deck right here. The Turkish bath hours are as follows. Available for ladies from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Available for gentlemen from 2 to 7 p.m. Uh, tickets being obtainable at the inquiry office. The swimming bath will be open for gentlemen from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. and for ladies from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. and for ladies and gentlemen respectively during the day and the same hours as the Turkish bath free of charge. Uh, so the ladies don't need the baths as much as the gentlemen apparently. Such is the way. Um, is this the the smoking room? Very opulent design, huh? <laughs> the captain of the Titanic will never be balling. <laughs> and uh, is this a? This looks like a changing room, but perhaps, and I can't really enter that one. So yeah, really, really nice nice stuff and I know they, they were researching really hard um, just to get all the patterns right and all the all the carpeting and all the all the all the tiling and the and the colors as well because you know for the most part I mean for all the part basically unless you have s somewhere written down something all the picture references that you have are black and white so you kind of have to do a bit of guesswork and see what's the right color goes you know which which one goes where uh, um this this thing hold on I, i'm what the oh hold on it's a fire hose and uh this seems like a switchboard or um another staircase and we're at the end here uh some doors you can open some doors you can't can you eat the coals no you should not eat the coals guys 
Is this an iron lung? Is it? I mean, this is the. I'm. I'm pretty sure this is the only human in this entire uh, demo. Um, is this an iron lung? <laughs> Where's it? I'm. I really have no idea what what is happening here. Cause like, your grandpa had one of those. Yeah, I I know. I'm like I have, I had no idea. I really had no idea that there was a passenger on the Titanic that was in an iron lung. Obviously, he didn't make it. At first, I thought this was like a mortuary, you know, because most cruise liners do have um, mortuary facilities, you know, just in case people die, you know, because they do. It's just a mortuary. You know, you got a table right right here. I'm not, I'm not sure what's happening here. Um, this is a little shower room right here, and you can step in and take take a shower, huh? What if you climbed into the iron lung and closed the lid? Hmm, shouldn't do that. Liverpool. Why? Um, you know, because especially on modern day cruise liners, there's lots of old people. Lots of old people there. Google says it's an electric bath. Was he wearing a suit though? Let me check the guy out again. I'm getting lost here. Okay, there we go. No, he's, he's wearing a suit. He is wearing a suit. Why is he getting an electric bath? Also, if you're an iron lung, I'm not sure if you should be wearing a suit anyway. So I really don't know what the hell that is. There's another mortuary. Like a little, little morgue here. And uh, this is another smoking area, possibly. A little private smoking room right here. Nice little benches. Very nice. Very nice. Man. Just imagine when this this whole thing is finished you could you could actually get like npcs walking around and uh and chilling in this area that'd be amazing but anyway i think we need to go take a bath no this is a no it's, are you sure are you sure i can't go further iron lung was invented for another few years so this must not be an iron lung so i have no idea what that is can confirm official to thank our elect electric bath electric bath i'll i'll need to look up what the hell is an electric bath i guess oh how about here this is kind of a maze you know yes the uh apparently the the movie is this a game or a simulation of the titanic it's uh it will eventually be a simulation of the titanic uh, including the sinking as well, but it's not quite ready yet. This is just a demo for the moment. Uh, the demo is free to download. Hey, I opened the door and there's the pool. There's the pool. Did you know that, that, that the Titanic had a pool? It's a black mirror, Jesus. Anyway, so here's a little shower room. Every, everyone has a shower right here. Got some towels. Nice. Olympic. Not Olympia. Um, the White Star Line from England and... Boom. And I can take a swim. Boom. About four feet. Yes. And now I can towel off. Cool. Nice. So, you can imagine public school without modern filtration systems. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I was going to say the White Star Line... Uh, the shipbuilding company in England open the door and then you got the Cunard line which I cannot can someone clarify if that's like American or Canadian or uh, or, or is it a partnership or something because I know it was uh, based off of based out of Halifax in Nova Scotia so that kind of implies that that, that is Canadian but uh, they both had naming systems they both had different naming systems the white starships names ended in I see like Titanic, Olympic, Britannic, Atlantic, Arctic, Pacific, uh, Celtic, Gaelic. Cunard's British? I'm not sure. And the and the Cunard line. I mean, since it's um, Titanic was registered in Liverpool, so carried the city's name on their stern. That's right, Titanic Liverpool on the back. 
on the stern. Yes, ships have their own uh, names. Uh, I was going to say that the Cunard Line had their own naming system, which is uh, ending in IA. So like Lusitania, Carpathia, uh, Mauritania, and stuff like that. Cunard British? Mm. I guess, I mean, if they were founded in Canada, they were still part of the uh, British Empire, weren't they? You had like about four or five pianos aboard the Titanic, and this is one of them. Nice seat. This is the Titanic. White Star Line music. Oh my god, they have their own music. And by the way, the, the texturing is lovely. Cunard was the first British steamship company. Huh. So this is uh, lovely stuff. There's pro probably something that you... Uh, Cunard HQ is in California. Hmm. Um, yeah, they were kind of rivals, uh, I believe. I can open the door. Nice. Whoa. I'm not quite sure what I'm looking at here. Can I open this? Whoa. And there you go. You got the ocean. There's a little bit of big bloom there. Big bloom. Uh, Britain still directly ruled Nova Scotia until the 1950s. So, yeah. Uh, you're not going to see it sink yet. That part of the game is not ready to, to do yet. It's just uh, this part of this part of the ship is explorable still. Smoking is in the companion's way. Smoking in the companion ways is strictly forbidden. Is this the companion ways? D deck. Oh, there's a plan of D deck if you want. It's very cluttered. The, the Titanic didn't have a christening? Ah, it's unchristian. That's why it sank. I have so many things to say. What the hell was I talking about? Do you, do you guys remember? I was talking about Cunard or something. Oh, yeah, the. The Cunard uh, HQ or something was, was out of Halifax, Nova Scotia. And unfortunately, Halifax, especially, and Nova Scotia had three major ship-related tragedies. And they were all because of the White Star Line, kind of. Um, so, of course, you got the SS Atlantic, which sank off the shores of Halifax in 1873. These are elevators, actually. You can push a button and, and go up and down. I can't tell if they're electric or, or, or mechanical, but maybe, maybe they're electric. Um, and then after that, you had the Titanic, which te technically it was not quite off the coast of Nova Scotia, but all the all the dead bodies that were recovered um, from the sinking site were then sent to. Nova Scotia and Halifax because that was the uh, closest port of call, I, I believe. And then after that, um, in 1917, boom. Oh, this is maybe this 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 is the second class uh, dining room. Let me check. It doesn't quite say if it's a second class or not, but okay, luncheon. We got luncheon. Uh, consomme. Oh, this must be second class because <laughs> this must be second class because they're uh, they're st starting to speak French now. Consomme femme here, cocky leaky, fillet of brill. Oh, fuck you! All right, Armas Titanic. That's right. And the and the, and the cutlery is black for some reason. Maybe it's just the shadow defect. Are they all black? Are they supposed to be black? They're slightly black. Yeah, uh, and I was going to say, in, in 1917, of course, there was the Great Halifax Explosion. Uh, of course, this was during the Great War. And during during the Great War, of course, you had ships. And you had ships full of ammunition. And off the coast of Halifax, you had two ships... <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> okay, it's it's just very dark green, and I'm also wearing these, these glasses. It's, it's not helping. Anyway... <laughs> Microphone is making fun of me because I can't see colors. Anyway, doors closed. Pools closed, guys. Go home. Um, I was gonna say that during the two ships collided off the coast of Halifax, off the port of Halifax, and one of them was filled to the brim with like dynamite and ammunition, and uh, eventually it caused a huge explosion which decimated the entire town of Halifax. And at that time, at that time in 1917, um. 
that was the largest man-made explosion ever in recorded history. Pretty sure this is accurate. Don't doubt it. Uh, D-Deck. Passengers are required not to smoke in this room until after luncheon. Hmm. And uh, one of those ships was a Norwegian chartered ship, but it was actually built by the White Star Line. So that was three for three. Uh, the White Star Line causing havoc on the Cunard Line's hometown, basically. Now we're up to Sea Deck. Sea Deck elevators. And you can see this is actually a, a radiator, looks like. Checking the chairs for Mr. Strauss Cuffling. Hey. And smoking in the campaign. Ca yeah, I know. We're, we're up on Sea Deck, are we? And of course, Sea Deck late. Oh, this is the ladies area, apparently. Sea Deck. Of course, these cabins are all going to be fully explorable once the once the game is complete. Maybe even if you if you purchase the alpha, you might also be able to explore a lot of this because apparently about 50% of the ship is now complete. In this demo 401, which is free, uh, not everything is is explorable. Though we do have one example of a cabin, probably second class cabin, right here. Nice. So you got a little porthole here. You can open and close it. Um, got a little lamp, electrical outlets, really, really cool, actually it's a double, it's a double room. Got a little chest there, and you, oh, and you can see out, on board the deck. Hmm, so th this one is explorable, but not all of them. Uh, probably for the demo, if, if they have doors open, you could probably explore them. Got them. This is like a maze. Jesus, wh where am I? Fuck. <laughs> you were in the plus. What the hell are you talking about, guys? Anyway. Jesus Christ. Do you have a Jesus Christ sticker there? Let's go up to. You. There we go. There's a, the big ghost. Oh! Wait, wait. Here, this is, um. Is this a. Re the reception. I actually didn't see this. Are these tickets for the baths, maybe? Or I'm not quite sure. Um, okay. Enhofer. Wait, surname and forename. This is big. Mr. Matthew William Joseph Enhofer. Uh, Mr. Kelsey C. Wolf. Senator Julian S. Papik. Are these real names? Are these uh, historically accurate? I'm not quite remembering any of these names per se. I'm of course I'm more I'm more accustomed with the actual crew of the Titanic and not I, I keep saying Titanic, Titanic and I'm not not so accustomed to the passengers apart from what's her name uh Jessup. Nurse Jessup who was a a lady ab aboard the Titanic and survived. And then she was a nurse aboard the Britannic. And when the Britannic was struck by a torpedo and sank, she was there and she survived it. And then she was aboard another, yet another um, ship that was that was, uh, that was was sinking. And she survived that as well. So she survived three ship sinkings. I can't remember her. Mary Jessup, was it? People really don't like, uh, don't like you smoking in the companion ways. The clock will be be set backward at midnight, forty nine minutes. Yeah, there's a there's a bit of a bit of confusion about about Violet Jessup. Thank you, Fallen Crane. That's right, Violet Jessup. Yeah. Um, what's the know this? Passengers are encouraged to contribute to the project if they enjoy this demo of Titanic Honor and Glory. Patreon.com/slash Titanic HG. Th this is not factually accurate, but I I appreciate the plug. Please check out Titanic HG on Patreon.com if you want to support this project and and get your hands on the alpha, which is a lot more detailed than this, I imagine. Um, there's a bit of confusion about when the Titanic came down because, of course, as it was sailing through the Atlantic, it crossed several date lines, and um, it wasn't 
I'm not quite sure the reasoning behind it, but yeah, it, w it wasn't like one hour back here, and then after some time, one hour back here was like odd minute numbers of um, <laughs> of uh, of time back. So 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 onboard time was actually not really related to anything in the real world apart from what the what the what the people aboard the Titanic understood. You know, it was like 3:17 a.m. on the on on the Titanic was actually like 4 a.m. in the official in the official dateline so it's crazy stuff like that <clears throat> Gino can you shout out my buddy legend he loves Christian and the Titanic thanks Nick please please have a good time legend glad you enjoyed Christian and the Titanic okay we're, we're getting aboard to the 220 a.m. 220 a.m. ships time God knows elsewhere yeah Oh, we're we're getting close to the. Uh, I, bl I believe this is getting towards first class. This is a B deck, uh, as you can see by the by all the gold everywhere now. Again, smoking. Yeah, yeah. Can I open this? Hey, yeah. Oh shit! State rooms, state rooms. Holy shit! So this is the I believe the first class cabins. They're actually not cabins. They're um, state rooms because they're so fancy. Yeah, this is incredibly, incredibly maze-like. I, wow. Gentlemen, I, I guess they are still segregated by men and women and families, even, even back then. I love your music and appreciate the effort you put into everything. Thank you so much. <laughs> you burn all your boats. Please don't burn all your bridges either. Boom! That was a that, that was a very heavy door. Great seating areas, B deck, and all the radiators are working. Is it that cold? It might be. I was actually never on a cruise ship, or was I ever? I was I was on a on a ferry, very briefly in Germany, I believe. That's like one of my only ship experiences. Menu. First class. This is this is the first class menu, and uh, it's. I believe you, you have a choice. You either have an English breakfast or an American breakfast. Nice. What's the difference? English breakfast is baked apples, fresh fruit, stewed prunes, exactly the same. After this is the different. Is the difference? English breakfast has back bacon, British sausage, black pudding, uh, fried sherd poached and boiled eggs, omelets to order, baked beans, fried fried tomato, fried mushrooms, fried and toasted bread, uh, tea, coffee, cocoa, or chocolate. And American breakfast has oatmeal porridge, Quaker oats, minced callops, collops, calves, liver, and bacon, mutton chops, fried rice cakes, honey, maple syrup, fried shirt, omelets to order, mash, saute, and jacket potatoes, fried and toasted bread. Um... And Americans don't get don't get tea, apparently. So I believe this is something that you've seen in the movie, with Rose and uh, what's her face, Kathy Bates, chatting away in in this thing here. I believe. It's a little windy. Gotta be careful. The lights are lovely. Uh, th this is the daytime uh, setting, and you can actually observe the ship during the night time as well it's a bit darker but then you can see all the all the pretty lights basically on on board and this is the this is the menu this is the reservations for the dinner i believe and you know i can't tell i mean they're probably more likely to be uh, actual passengers and not uh, patrons for example because you know then you would have some funny names and, um, and names that, are, that don't look like names, you know, but these are all very, very clearly um, names, like a first name and last name. So I believe they're maybe historically accurate here. You got flowers here. Nice. Very nice. This is the first class dining dining room, I believe. Of course, you, you had classes back then. You, you still have classes right right now. They just sound a bit nicer to you, you know. First, second, and third. It's not so 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 demeaning sounding anymore. You have a business class and you have economy class, so it's a bit more more vague in the 
in the meeting here like who's quite quite who's who's better here ken ken marshall is is in the, oh shit ken marshall is on the list so maybe it's not historically accurate and they're uh paying tributes to people because i do know ken marshall he's the He's the artist who made all those amazing paintings, isn't he? Or is or is he the writer of the book? There's a book called On a Sea of Glass, which is a uh, apparently an amazing Ken Marshall. Yeah, yeah, he's right here. Um, Mr. Thomas Linsky is also here. Bill Sauter. Yep. These are these are people. Kyle. Oh no, this this is the crew. This is the crew of the of the game. Actually, these are all the people who uh, contributed to this uh, development of the game here, actually, I believe. You got you got Kyle right there, you got Daniel, you got, um, you got Bill Sauter, of course, Tom Linsky, Ken Marshall, yeah, yeah. Well, that's nice. Huh, a little Easter egg there. And I believe we can step out on, on deck through here. Nice. The Irish woman in Cameron's Tatang also also played Vasquez in Aliens. She wasn't she wasn't Titanic. I don't remember her. So anyway, here's the here's the ocean. Looks pretty damn sweet. And I really have no idea how how are they gonna attempt the sinking, because they are planning to make a sinking simulation as well, probably in re real time as well. You got the masts right here. Are the masts the masts are f functional, right? I mean, they they gotta be, you know, because do modern ships still have masts like this? Is this a, is, is this a, is this of structural importance? To have the mass like this because you know they they don't have sails here you know um in the in the previous project that was made by this by this uh team it was uh of course as i mentioned before uh the britannic patroness of the mediterranean and that and that was like about 15 percent of the britannic modeled out and explorable and then it is struck by a torpedo and then you have to escape the ship as, as it's sinking um the style of it is a bit more cartoonish and not so realistic and the water itself is lo looks like it's made of putty so so um so i'm i'm not sure how, how are they going to do this in this game because I'm, obviously they're going towards realism because as you can see from the water it looks pretty damn sweet it's gonna be a huge huge ordeal to make the simulation accurate and this is the uh this is the aft of the ship the bow no no the the stern ships have really funny names of like places on the ship and the uh, left side is port and right is starboard i believe yeah, this is the back of the ship. Passengers are not allowed on docking bridge. F you, I'm a stowaway. There you go. Stern, okay. Looks unreal. <laughs> Funny. Ah, uh, that's this is why you're not allowed. Because you can drive the ship here, I guess. Brown's patent telemotor. Are these like signals? These are signal lights or something, maybe. Breaking the law, breaking the law. Okay, let's let's go down again. Nice, nice and easy. Let's keep exploring the top. The uh, the deck, as they say. It's quite cluttered, actually. Port is left. They they both have four letters. I, I actually have something similar to remember is that uh, starboard is a longer word than port, and and the uh, and right is also a longer word than left. So port and starboard, and then you got forward and aft, not front and back. So this is the 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 after mast. After means back, and you, and you can actually see that it that the mast is actually going through the ship. From the top and you can actually see it right here and goes towards the bottom 
finally a gaming stream. I might actually go to space in, for the next stream on this channel instead of the Titanic. Because, uh, ooh, we can go up again. I want to get to the to the majestic staircase as well. Tiller controls or rudder controls? They, they might be. Um, tiller controls are funny as, as heck because hard to starboard means you turn port. Boat deck. I'm on the boat deck. Ah. So these are... This this is where the action happened. These are the lifeboats. These, these are all the lifeboats and the lifeboat davits. And two books I highly recommend reading. Uh, 1912 Facts About, Tita Facts about Titanic uh, and Titanic Names. A complete list of passengers and crew. Both are by Lee W. Meredith. Cool. You ever hear about... My computer is chugging. It is chugging. Damn. Probably means that uh, I actually cannot run games on this, on this, uh, on this thing really, really well, and stream as well because it looks pretty smooth to me. Just uh, I think the the streaming software is not compatible with this. Second class passengers are not allowed to forward of this. I believe I can, I cannot actually get through this though. I believe. The port side is open. Yeah, it's open. Haha. -ha. Can I open this door? I cannot. Can I explode and shit? Chug boat. Haha, -ha -ha. that's funny. There's a funnel. There's a. That one's not operational, actually. I, I believe. I, I guess it's, it was used for uh, storage. And this one was operational. Whoa! Okay, that was. Alright, alright, alright. That was a that was a bit of a chuckmeister. Are we going? Whoa! Oh, okay. No, it's just just another uh, seating area here for all the lowly people, without any any decorations here. Titanic with Terra Nova OST. <laughs> frame drops on stream and it happens. It gets choppy when you run. Maybe get three three fourths of max frame rate. Uh, wait. Can I? I whoa, whoa. It's actually going a little bit funky because of all these chairs, I believe. It's loading in all the chairs. Must be. Actually, I can go up this, I believe. Boom. Passengers are not allowed on compass platform. Fuck you, bruv. I'm a ghost. There you go. This this is the compass platform? Hmm. Um, so, like, in emergency situations, especially... Uh, during nighttime, you can actually tell which way a ship is pointed at by the lights. So I believe on the red side would be the port side, and the uh, fuck, the red lights are on the port side, and the green lights are on the starboard side. So if you if you see lights in the distance of like a ship in trouble, and you can't make out which way is it going, which which way is it facing, if you see the lights, you can you can uh, imagine the orientation that way. I believe it's the same in planes. Run fast. And all these deck chairs are placed in such a way that I cannot move past them and move into that area over there on the starboard side. It's just the, the port is open for me. Though I believe I can explore just a bit more. Just a bit more. Boom. Open the door. There we go. This is the... This is... This is the iconic staircase right here. Right there, and this is the the skylight. There you go. Um apparently apparently uh, I'm not sure how how true this is, but when they were making the Titanic, they actually made this staircase a lot bigger than what it historically is supposed to be like because apparently people were smaller back in 1912 and you could just just about barely fit in two two people side by side here as you can see you know like i'm pretty sure it looks a lot more roomy in the titanic movie because this is not much space not much space at all it's just basically comfortably you can fit in at the end, one person, like one one person going up, one person going down. Yeah, it's, it's getting it's getting it's getting a little chuggy here. It's getting a little chuggy here. 
There's here's another little upright piano. Leo's pretty tiny. Don't say that about Leo. There's another little area here. Anything I can access? Boom. I'm pretty sure there was an area I could access, like at the very end of something. Yeah. Boom. More doors. More door. And an empty plaque. How about here? There's some there's like some some gaps in the scenery there. And I can hear engines or something. Off to the, off to the left or something. Have you ever thought about learning Unreal Engine and utilizing it in something? I'm I'm actually really interested. I'm quite inspired by this. And I kind of... Open, open this door. Fuck! I found it! It's the, it's the Marconi room! Holy shit. This is where... This is where the heroes, well, there, there, there are many heroes. There are many heroes on this ship, and this is a story of two of them. These are them all, and they have their own uh, cabin here. So, so this is basically the, uh, the uh, telegraph room. So these, this is where the two guys sent out the SOS distress calls to everyone who was, who was listening. And they, and they stayed here. Until the very end. Jack Phillips and Harold Bride. Yep. Yeah, people... People... I, f I don't know. It, f it feels like people really cared about... The way that things looked. More so. Um, I, I guess it was just more expensive... To make all this stuff. And that's why... Um, everything had to be made of wood... Or iron like metal, copper, like st stuff like that, instead of plastic these days, you know? So so everything is made of metals and woods, and that and that's why it makes it look so so fancy. So yeah, this is where they sent out the distress calls, and uh, until they were submerged by the water, they stayed until the very end. Um, I think it was the the same kind of... Whoa. This is the, this is the like, the power generator here. Damn. Point twelve Henry. Damn, those golden pipes connect, connect all the way down to the sea deck, where the per, where their purser would send up passengers' messages to the wireless room via pneumatic system. God damn, uh, it was the same same story of heroism with the in the boiler room, I believe. Um, the uh, the uh, stokers operating the boiler rooms were shoveling in coal into the boilers to keep the uh, power running for the entirety of the ship for as long as possible to allow for the passengers to evacuate in in light you know because it was it was nighttime and if you turn off the lights then it's incredibly scary and confusing and you and you can't really organize anything happening so that's why they stayed down in the in the boiler rooms until until they were submerged in the water they were also heroes Oh, okay. Is this the... I think this is for the crew and not for the passengers. This area here. It's like a little washroom. Is, is, is this a coffee maker? What is this? Those, those means of communication are always going to be an absolute enigma to me, like the fax machine or pagers. No, no idea how they work, but the mystery keeps life interesting. Yeah. Unfortunately, ships are not really a thing anymore, you know, because uh, the last great ship, you might say, was the SS United States. It was SS, right? Uh, it was an American ship, of course. And, and that was the fastest ship to have ever crossed the Atlantic, ever. And that was made in the 50s. Because after that point, you know, planes... Or the way to go, so that there really isn't much point in making, um, in making uh, fast ships anymore because when you can do it so much better with planes, and you, and you don't need to spend, and you, even if even, even if it was a fast ship, it would still take days, I believe, to cross the Atlantic, and you can it takes hours to cross the Atlantic in um, 
in a plane. I mean, of, of course, passenger ships with uh, cargo ships. I mean, of, of course, that's that's all. It's all well and good. Of course, cargo ships are a thing, but like passenger liners is just you know. You don't need to make it so fancy anymore unless you're do, you're doing a a little um, a, a little cruise around somewhere. Where the hell am I going? I I want to get to the to the to the bridge, the wheelhouse. One of these days, I'll pay the captain of the some cargo ship and go across the Pacific for cheap. Am I going back to the Marconi room? I need to get to the bridge. Get, get, me, get me to the bridge. Once I get to the bridge, I'm going to close the stream. <laughs> Find an adult. Fuck you. Um, did you know that the term bridge um, actually comes from the old old paddle steamer days because the first steamships you know ships that were powered by the power of of a, of a steam engine they were paddle steamers so, so they had huge like round paddles on each side of of the ship and they were and they were spinning and th this was like they were paddling the ship across the water and in between those two paddles on either side was a bridge where the captain and the and the wheelhouse was. So this is where the term bridge came from. It's an, it's an actual bridge. It was an actual bridge before, but now it's just called a bridge where, wherever the captain is, you know? Can I get up here and then... Boom. This is really like a maze. And now, and now I'm a... Now I'm a goner. Amtrak also sucks. Amtrak is very extensive in the East Coast, but not anywhere else. Okay. Last thing, last thing I'm gonna do before I close the stream. I'm not sure if I can get into the uh, wheelhouse. I'm just gonna go to main menu. Yes, I'm sure. And I'm gonna, yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna go to nighttime, first class. Find a. <laughs> Wait, I press credits and just start. Sorry. Begin. Are you sure? The California sucked? The California the ship? <laughs> hey, okay, so now we're in nighttime just to show you what the what the difference is. As you can see, it's very dark and all the lights are on. So this is really elegant. The tank is a lot like cross cross chromer in that they both were massive failures i mean they it didn't whoa okay i need to take off my glasses yeah, this is this this looks very fancy here yeah the the california was a ship that that apparently was visibly close to the Titanic, like people from the Titanic actually, actually did uh, say that they saw a ship, they saw lights in the distance, and they thought it was a ship. And I believe the Titanic started shooting flares into the sky, and the crew, the crew of the California, noticed these flares, and he probably even also received the the telegram messages that the Titanic was in trouble. However, the captain decided that maybe it was a false alarm or false information and they did not do anything about it. And they, and they, yeah, they, they could have saved a lot of people, but they did not because, because the captain thought it was necessary and and there's no way that that the Titanic could be in trouble because no, it was the Titanic. Of course, it, it could not sink. That's what they all thought, apparently, for some reason. B deck elevators. Boom! Oh, oh, come on! <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> I can't, I can't enter that. Hey, okay. So on B deck, the central elevator is open, so you can have a seat here. I'm gonna I can have a sit down right here. There you go. Uh, you can't push the buttons here. I, I imagine there would be an elevator operator at this time as well, you know? 
It was the hunting ship, the Samson, not the California, I swear. Again, it was... Apparently, there is some... Um, <laughs> there was some controversy uh, about what kind of ship it was. Maybe, maybe it probably was not the California either. Uh, we'll see. What do you mean, we'll see? We'll, we'll never know, obviously. Too many people to take aboard? I mean... You could have helped, you know, because most of the casualties, I believe, were people in the water. There were people in the water, and they could not, you know, they could not get on the boats. If there was another ship, they could have rescued them, definitely. God, it's so dark here. Hey, the lights just turned on. Did I... What? Whoa. Oh, oh, it's a revolving door. Holy shit. I spun the door. That shit's cool. Okay, okay. Whoa. Okay. There's there's a lot of polys here. Have I ever been on a cruise? Um, not on a cruise, just on a ferry for a short, short, short bit of time. So I'm not really a boat person. Damn, this is, this is fancy as heck. As you can see, all the all the lights are turning on as I'm looking at them. Of course, it's just a demo. Lovely chandelier, though. Might find a page in here. <laughs> if I find all eight pages before the before the uh, Slenderman gets me, oh boy, I'm gonna be a happy boy today. This might be the smoking room. I believe there's another room where you can. See like board games, like a backgammon or, or chess on there as well. Letters. I'm not quite, I'm not quite getting the, I'm not, yeah. I'm not quite getting the meaning of letters, sending letters on an ocean liner. Um, I guess you can, no, where does, no, where, where do they send them to? Can just save the letter until you get there, and then and then send it. I mean, th th there's there's not like a mail ship that's that's coming by to pick up your your letters. I'm completely lost. <laughs> Let me get outside. God damn it! This is a really confusing ship. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna. The deck is over here. I gotta open the door. Boom. 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 Door. Door. Door, door, dork. Wait, wait, are you, huh? Oh, okay, there was, there was, wow, that's dark. But you can see the Milky Way here. Very nice, very nice as rice. Small tenders and mail ships, holy shit. Really? Mail ships were real things. They had no arms with baskets, but they would drop mail. <laughs> they, what, really? Are, are you Yankee my crank? I mean, obviously, I don't know much about ships, so maybe it was possible. I cannot see shit. Fuck. This is... This is the opposite place of where uh, Rose tried to commit suicide. I could use the telegram for your letters. It was much faster. Yeah, it was. C can I see the iceberg? I'm pretty sure would, you would be able to see the iceberg if it was not on this side. <laughs> uh, for the deck, it seems that... It's only the port side that's open, but not the starboard. I b it was on the starboard side that it was hit, I believe. It's actually just for my sanity. I'd rather have it daytime. Whoa. Oh, I just entered the starboard side, but I can't go any further. Nah. Damn it. I'm pr I did get guys, I I swear I entered the bridge before. <laughs> Royal Mail Royal Mail ship, usually seen in some abbreviated RMS, is the ship prefix used for seagoing vessels that carry mail under contract to the British Royal Mail. But like you had the But that was the that was the that was the Titanic though. That was an RMS Titanic, wasn't it? It was an HMS Titanic. It was RMS Titanic, right? I'm 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 turning on the day. God damn, I cannot see shit.
yeah, there was, it was yeah, it was RMS. Day, first class, begin. Nice. A mail ship within the mail ship? Turn on the sun. I turned on the sun. Ah, so much better there. This is locked. Whoa. The bloom is a bit intense, you know. Uh, fixing the exposure in between the the interiors and exteriors is a bit funky, as you can see. Uh, so, like, this area looks pretty well lit, and then you go outside, it's like... Uh, the sun is exploding, pretty much. Oh, fuck. And then you look outside, and then it, uh... And it calms down. See, like that. I mean, it's just a quirk of you. Whoa. And then it's really black if you turn around. They send letters on the ships to get postmarked, but it was like a collectible thing. Damn. All the Titanic kids are out right now. Um, this team behind the Titanic HG project, which I believe they also have a, they also have a YouTube channel. Please check it out. Um, they're the guys who, about five years ago or so, made a real um, uh, a real time sinking video of the Titanic. It was like three hours long, pretty much as long as it took for the Titanic to sink. And and you can see what was happening was annotated with like special events happening during 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 each of these periods. Of, periods of time and that, that got like 70 million views and that was a huge boost for their project here so these are the same guys who made that video and uh, as a as a tradition as a, as a tradition every year they they watch that video during the exact same time that the Titanic sank it was like uh, April 12th and and it's Two, two hours and 40 minutes, yeah. So yeah, um, they routinely update their their models. This is empty. This is completely empty. This is completely empty. <laughs> uh, they regularly update their models of the ship and uh, correct any inaccuracies. I am so close to the bridge. I can, I can almost taste it. Okay, I'm definitely entering new areas here. There, there's a stink and there's a toilets I believe yeah holy shit wooden toilet seats <laughs> were they were they that um, not round before really I saw this boat in half um I'm getting very close because this is like that's the front of the ship and the, and the bridge should be right around here either above me or, or below me Y'all, y'all a top-down break believer or a down-top break believer? Down top, no, is it? Yeah, there is. There are some some conspiracy theories, obviously, around the Titanic community, and lots of uh, controversies as well. Is, is this the bridge? Is the bridge? Is the bridge? You fucking asshole. <laughs> Where is this goddamn bridge? I swear. Did, wasn't, this is like the exact mirror image of where I've just been. Yeah, yeah, it is the mirror image. I mean, which is all fine and dandy because it probably is lots of mirroring happening because why would you make every every single thing non-symmetrical? I mean, that just makes no sense. But anyway, I have to go that way. I, I have to keep going that way somehow. Did, 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 did the break start at the top or at the bottom? There's a lot of theorizing on that. Of course, we'll never know. We'll never know. B but it feels like it makes more sense if the breaking started from the top. I guess because that's where, where, where more of the stress was. Um, there were lots of conflicting um, accounts from the survivors who saw the ship going down and you know some were just too close to the ship to even realize there it is damn it <laughs> the search goes on for my bridge uh, some 
some people were way too close, and of course it was so dark at that time that they didn't notice that the ship snapped in half b before it sank. Um, so, so that's why there was no evidence for it snapping in two until the fucking Marconi room again. Fuck it. <laughs> hey, they have a nice skylight here, actually. And they, and they got a fan, too. Uh, so that's why for pretty much every movie adaptation, at, at least, including the, f the famous A Night to Remember from 1957, the ship just sank, you know, and didn't snap in half. Uh, but by the time the shipwreck was found in 1986, I believe, that's where you can conclusively say, I found the bridge. <laughs> that's where, that's when you can conclusively say that, that the ship did in fact break in, into two pieces. Brown's patent telemotor. There it is. And there it is. There's the, there's a bridge right here. You can't, you can't see shit. Fuck. Uh, there we go. There's the wheelhouse. This is where Captain Smith stood. Um, I believe these were commands that uh, then were sent down to the to the engine room, I believe, and the and the boiler rooms, and that and that uh, alerted the people there how to you know how to uh, how how fast to to shovel in the coal and should they stop the should they stop the engines or whatever so this is how they contacted the people down there with these with these commands with these levers you have a full full ahead half ahead slow ahead dead dead slow ahead uh stand by stop stand stand by dead slow ahead. yeah like that cool very cool very cool stuff uh captain smith i believe he was a honorable captain honorable man and he stood um I, I believe in the in the titanic movie by by james cameron he did stay in the wheelhouse until he was engulfed by the water though i believe last uh i i witness testimony say that he was helping people um come on lifeboats in his last moments and um and the and the designer of the ship, one, like one of the designers of the ship. Oh God, I can't remember his name. You guys remember his name? The guy was played by that by that Irish guy. I mean, he was Irish. I, I, I'm not sure if the the actor was Irish. the The guy was like in the in the drinking room, drinking until he drowned. Like, also, I I I believe he was up and about on deck doing stuff, helping people, and not just accepting defeat. You know. And J. Bruce Ismay, Thomas is his father, but I'm, in my opinion, his name was smeared by a petty newspaper owner. Yeah, it it does seem like J. Bruce Ismay was smeared by the media at that time, and I think that's why he committed suicide. I think he, he oh Thomas Andrews, that's it. He allegedly died alongside Thomas Andrews. Yeah, if it does feel like maybe Thomas Andrews and Captain Smith did stay together around the deck helping people and you know and captain murdoch i believe is one of the, one of the one, one of the first officers um on the ship he famously in the in the titanic shot himself in the mouth um because he killed someone or something <laughs> but uh, of course there is no evidence of that and actually i believe murdoch's relatives uh, were very upset by Cameron's depiction of Murdoch um, very selfishly c c committing suicide during the sinking, which probably we probably did did not happen. Again, there's no proof, but but there were at least one there was at least one gunshot during the evacuation. Um, there was there was another guy who actually woke up late during the sinking and he was a quite kind of a kind of a an angry fellow and he he shot a warning shot into the air to calm people down that's what he did and and there was a reported second shot at some other point and uh, a, 
I believe Cameron suggested that this was because he shot himself in in the in the head. But uh, of course, there's no there's no proof of that. I believe there was one. God damn it! I can't I can't get this wrong. But I do not remember the the exact details. There was a there was someone from an Asian land that was that survived the Titanic sinking. I believe he was Chinese. I might be wrong. And this uh, fuck, I can't remember these names. But this this gruff officer guy, he, Low. That's it, Low. Fifth officer Low. That's right. He, fifth officer Low, actually rescued rescued six Asian passengers. But did, did they did they all survive though? Because uh, Low actually was on one of the lifeboats, and he came back to rescue anyone who was floating in the water. Oh, there's a documentary about him called The Six. Cool. Um, um, actually, Low rescued that Chinese passenger, and uh, of course, he he seemed to be kind of hesitant to rescue him, you know, because he was Asian. So, and then, and then, this this guy was freezing in the water, and as soon as he got on board, he he started paddling and and helping the others, and I believe Low really had a change of heart. Uh, because he was shocked by how hardworking and how dedicated he was, you know. So he was he was he was touched by that. So that's nice. <laughs> you know, I would love to make a a um, uh, fuck. In, one of the Chinese passengers survived by sitting on a door, but I don't think anyone definitely know who it was. Mm. I would love to make, or, or love someone to make a new version of the Titanic. Fuck, this is, this is the. This is the frame killer. I thought you were talking about Masabumi Hosono, who's Japanese Lamao, but yeah, my bad. I might be wrong, honestly. <laughs> I might be wrong. But yes, the story goes, Lo was racist. He rescued an Asian passenger. The Asian passenger uh, proved his worth incredibly. Lo was touched by it and maybe was less racist than. <laughs> Can he actually be on the ship when it hits the iceberg? Um... <laughs> Yes, you can be on the ship when it hits the iceberg. That is the idea behind the the uh, the game here. Yeah, so I can't I can't move past this. Damn. But yeah, this is pretty much it. I believe it's around 25% available in the demo. If you get the alpha, I believe it's 50% at least, and it's constantly being updated. So please check out the alpha as well so yeah again towards the end of the line i'm kind of running out of my uh running out of titanic trivia as well but yeah titanic is a crazy crazy story he was shamed when he got home what because he survived god damn it there's a map on the official website where it shows where the parts are completed and what aren't sorry i joined 51 minutes no worries, no worries, man. So yeah, let me just uh, head over to the stern one more, once more onto the breach, my friends, and and I'll close the stream, I guess. This is the first stream on this channel. How the hell do I get in there? How do we get in there? What the hell? How do I get in there? Okay, maybe I go through one of these little, little ways here. Yeah. Oh my god, excuse me. How rude of me. I'm running as fast as lightning. Oh, this is uh, like the game room or something. The, you got to, it, oh, maybe, maybe this is the smoking room. First room on this channel? Oh yeah. It got shamed for surviving because honor culture in Japan is extreme. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we got glasses. We got glasses, we got ashtrays. And we got matches. Definitely smoking and drinking going on here. And I can zoom in and zoom out. Nice. I love these chairs, though. God damn. Apparently, it's almost noon. Oh, the blue chairs. Oof. Look at these blue chairs. Fuck. These are great. B deck. You can open the door. I cannot open the door. 
Was that the first class? I, th I think I saw the first class smoking room a while back. Whoa! I saw I saw into the into the ship for for a bit. Actually, I discovered a oh there's the there's the game room. Lovely chess pieces. The texturing here is great. I, I think it looks really really fancy. I, this did actually inspire me to like try to make something myself if I if I learn like Unreal Engine five or something. A notepad on board the RMS Titanic. This is a little message message board here it 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 does it, it does inspire me to make something like a virtual museum myself of something you know but of, of course this is this took such a long time to make and it looks looks great so far of course and, and it's not and it's, it's not even close to finish this is Un unreal 4 actually um is this the bug no funny funny this bug only happens in the third class dining room. Christian's room. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Um, so, like, if I crouch down, I still can't pass through the table. However, in the third class dining room, I can. And I actually discovered a bug where you can uh, enter, enter the back rooms and uh, clip through. UE5 is even crazier. I've seen the demos. I've seen... I've seen one of the... Um, like a, a demo on Unreal 5 of like one of the, one some non specific Japanese train station. That was fucking crazy. And I would know too because, um, you know, because I've, I've been to stations like that and it just looked like real life to me. Okay, we're into the third class here. This is a map of the tracks of the White Star Line steamers. So this is, I believe, a accurate map to 1912. This is what it looks like. Canada, United States, Alaska, Pacific Ocean. I got the Azores, London. Sh London is in, in the middle of Germany, apparently. Uh, yeah, China looks a bit different, actually, on this map. And you, you still have... Where's, where's my map guy? Is he in the stream? Maybe not, but anyway. Look at this, you got Turkey, it looks like a huge, you got Caucasus, you got Austria-Hungary. Man, you got, uh, you got Alex, oh, fuck, Egypt and Tripoli. Sudan was fucking huge. Congo states, German East Africa, R Rhodesia. God damn, look at this. Somaliland, Arabia, Persia, even. Siam, Sumatra. Cool stuff. Littleton. Littleton was a was a big Antarctica town. Pretty much um, every British, at least, um, expedition to Antarctica first stopped in Littleton for uh, for resupplies and then headed off to Antarctica. Let me get down. <laughs> Who did this? I can't enter now. No, let me get down. T let me get down to the. Um, to the third class dining room and then clip through and then I'm gonna end the stream. I can actually enter this. This is like a, a reception desk, which I can enter. And the receptionist lived in the reception room, apparently. Man, third class sucks. Okay, uh, actually the the dining room is on F deck, I believe, because I'm on E deck now, and I should go down a bit. Maybe here? Maybe not. No. It was like one of these staircases. Was it? No, no. Oh, okay. I know. This is the the main hallway. It's over, over yonder. There you go. Somewhere here. There's, there's, there's a conference room and the dining room is going to be over here, I believe. Right? I believe so. Right here. Yeah. So here you have these metal poles, which I believe they would be, you know, have the, um, have the velvet rope in between. So you, so you have people coming in on the left and people leaving on the, on the right. So here's the third class chambers. The, uh, sorry dining room and um let's uh let's just 360 no scope out of here huh 
So I can actually crouch and move through the table. Now let me move through the wall. I, and, and move through the wall? Uh, no? No? Hmm. I did it before. And I gotta do it again. Boom. No? Damn it. How do... Can I like beta test this or something? Because I really love to just fuck around with this for a little bit. I know scoped out of here before. God damn you. <laughs> oh wait. Oh wait, wait. If I stand up in the table and oh it fixed me. You son of a you you actually I'm okay, I'm stuck now. Well, guess I'll die. Alright. So this is the end. <laughs> this is the end. Okay, let me um so this is the end. This is Titanic Honor and Glory. Link is down in the description. <laughs> the third class on the Titanic was so clean and luxurious that the third class passengers thought they were in second class. <laughs> Damn it, I'm, 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 I'm actually stuck. Anyway, so this is the demo, the free demo. I believe the alpha is more expansive than this. So please check it out and purchase it if you're so inclined. Uh, let me switch back to to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Uh, somewhere around here. Where am I? Okay, I'm back. Just let me exit this out and put my desktop out of its misery. Because it sounds like it's going to take off. <laughs> the fan is a bit, is a bit loud. All right, good. So that was my history stream. Glad to see you playing THG. I thought you were playing Roblox Titanic by the thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the thumbnail is is a very, very, very Roblox. Anyway, so that's the end of the show. I gotta go. Oh my goodness, I only planned for an hour. Didn't didn't mean for this to be a be such a long thing i am of course i have ideas for a titanic ish doc um it's gonna be called titanic tales and it's gonna be a series of stories following some people on the on the titanic as it's sinking probably and um there is this guy on youtube called titanic animations who is actually building a very very accurate um model of the titanic and as it's sinking as well in Blender, by the way. So, which is great for me because I just use Blender. And the, and the model is for sale, I believe for about $300. It's a bit, it's a bit pricey, but God damn you're, you're getting a lot of quality stuff in, in there. So I'm thinking of maybe purchasing that at a bit later point to, to help with making my documentary there. I'm kind of imaging, Im imagining, uh, combining like the CG shots in Blender of uh, of scenes on the on board the Titanic, mixed in with artistic renderings of the passengers, like in in drawn style, and kind of com combining both instead of actually trying to animate people in Blender and making it look really scary, which I, th I think is a bit inappropriate. So again, it's very far away in my in my doc making timeline. Uh, first priority is of course Terra Nova. The Great Silence, the White Silence. Fuck, I can't get I can't get the name right. Uh, I just completed part five out of a possible thirteen, I believe. Uh, all the music narration and visuals are all done up to there. It's about two hours long now. So, and I'm gonna start working on part six today, which is one of my most favorite parts. It's concerning the Cape Crozier expedition to retrieve some penguin eggs. One of the most arduous, horrifying camping trips ever. But no one died, so it's fine. Anyway. <laughs> so thank you all for for joining. Thank you very much, Chris Chance Phantom Bottle Collection and Ceramic for your donations. Really appreciate it. Um, if you're interested in supporting this channel and documentaries that are, that are not about Chris Chan, please like and subscribe and share around. Um, if you're also inclined to do Patreon stuff, I have a Patreon link down below, Gino Samuel. Patreon.com slash Gino Samuel. And uh, I'm gonna be doing more stuff, huh? 
going to be doing more stuff everywhere. I'm a busy boy. And I hope you enjoy all I do. Or at least some, some things that I do. Anyway, hope you have a nice week. Nice time. Nice month. Nice year. Nice day. Until I see you again. Cheers for the Titanic fun. No worries. Cheers to you. Anyway, this is me, Gino Samuel, signing off. Christian Part 67 out tomorrow, by the way. Bye bye. Thanks again, y'all. Stay safe and have a nice day.